उस पे इसकी वैक्सीनेशन की क्या प्रोग्रेस है वी हैव मेड गुड प्रोग्रेस कम से कम टीचर ही स्टाफ भी अगर हो चुका है वैक्सीनेट तो अब तो स्टूडेंट्स भी हो सकते हैं बिकॉज यू नो यंगर ग्रुप्स के लिए खोल रहे हैं ऐसा ऐसा तो इसमें yes, करेगा जी इसलिए वो सर्वे भी इन्होंने कराया कि थोड़ा इनको अंदाजा हो सके कि क्या वैक्सीनेशन की क्या सूरत है Absolutely, sir. If fall may be cool now, so this is around the time when we should start collecting data. Who is vaccinated? Yes, who is not? Who is not? Yes, yes. In fact, I was here. The government has uh, announced today that uh, vaccination is going to start from tomorrow for 18 plus. Okay, acha, acha. okay. I, I see. I see. And that is good. Uh, तो वो जो स्टूडेंट्स वांट टू गो अब्रॉड या लेबर हु वांट टू गो अब्रॉड उनको भी सिग्नल दे दिया है कि यू नो यू कैन डू दैट दैट इज गुड सर वी हैव अबाउट 135 पार्टिसिपेंट्स नाउ विद द परमिशन वी कैन प्रैप्स बिगिन एंड पीपल कैन जॉइन अस एज वी गो अलोंग हां 135 यस सर Thank you for joining us today on this uh, open house session of certification program launched launched by Population Research Center. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you at this open house session, especially our Dean Dr. Sikandar Hayat, our advisory board members, our head of departments, departmental representatives, faculty, staff, and also students. Before starting a session, I would like to request all of you to please mention your department's name on your Zoom profiles. students are requested to rename themselves as their department name roll number and then their full name i have also mentioned this in the comment section students are invited to ask questions in the q and a session at the end of the session and you uh, please raise your hands in the comment section and you can also mention your question in the comment section so the so that the experts can answer all of your questions one by one also the session will be recorded the agenda of the session includes a welcome note by dr sikandar hayat a brief introduction to prc and the certification program along with the courses and registration process by prc team which includes dr mohammad waqas ali director prc mr jawad tariq coordinator prc and ms fatima shamsi administrative assistant prc third departmental representatives will share their remarks or their presentations regarding the certification program and the relevance of the certification program uh, to their subjects like economics sociology geography and statistics <coughs> the session will end by followed a 20 minutes q and a session and all the students are welcome to ask the questions in the q and a session by mentioning uh, by raising their hand or by mentioning their questions in the comment section Uh, first of all i would like to request dr sikandar hayat to uh, please share your welcome note uh thank you so much khizra uh, uh, very kind of you uh, i don't have much to say except to say these words formally that uh, i welcome all of you uh, to this uh, uh, launch of the certification program in demography and population studies Uh, it's a very proud moment for me a great privilege for me uh, that uh, the population research center has come to a stage uh, where it can launch academic programs on the campus uh, initially but maybe we move forward dr bakas will talk about it uh, where we can invite students from outside also uh, to be part of this program so warm welcome from my side i welcome the members of the board the advisory board if they have joined us i welcome the chairs who have joined us i welcome the departmental representatives uh, they have kindly joined us i was expecting they would join us and i of course welcome uh, uh, the uh, you know the large number of participants i was so glad 
to hear that 100 plus are already here. So that shows tremendous interest in the program. I'm sure it holds very good pro uh, promise and it will be very helpful. Uh, it's primarily meant, uh, and of course, uh, Dr. Bakas will talk about it at length. It is primarily meant for undergraduate students uh, doing BA, BS, uh, honor students, and particularly for the uh, freshmen or the sophomore, the early years of the undergraduate program. And we begin to, we, we, we hope to start it from the uh, fall 2021. It's already approved by the Academic Council and the Board of Faculty and all that. So all the formalities uh, have been met. And uh, this is a program which involves four departments. It's you know, one of those uh, very positive developments uh, on the campus where you have interdisciplinary and interdepartmental uh, collaboration. Uh, we have the departments of economics, geography, sociology, and statistics. Uh, they have joined hands uh, to launch this uh, program for our young students, for our undergraduate students. Um, the center, of course, uh, Dr. Vakas will talk about it, but just a few words. Uh, it's a university center, autonomous center, uh, which is meant to promote and pursue an interdisciplinary teaching, research, and training in demography and uh, population studies. We established this in 2019. So it's a very young uh, center, so to speak, but under the very able leadership of uh, Dr. Vakas, it has made a tremendous progress, you know, and joined, of course, by Jawad Tarek. So I'm really personally obliged to them for, uh, you know, those extra efforts, the extra mile they have gone uh, to make sure that this is a, a living, thriving uh, center uh, for, uh, for, uh, for demography and population studies in the country. And um, he will, of course, also talk about the certification part. Uh, what does it require, how many courses, from where they will come, how will this registration process take place. So I wouldn't take uh, your time on that. And uh, I would conclude by saying again uh, that uh, I'm really very happy. It's a very, very proud moment for all of us, especially in social sciences. Uh, you know, this is part of the social sciences endeavors. Uh, the, the Population Research Center is a unit of the Faculty of Social Sciences. So for me, uh, as the Dean Faculty of Social Sciences, a truly great moment. So I welcome you all from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I hope this will be a successful program and will be a harbinger of many more such successful initiatives uh, coming from the Population Research Center. So thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Sekander. Thank you for your kind words. Now, I would like to uh, request Dr. Vakas Ali, uh, Director of PRC, to please uh, present PRC Population Research Center and its certification program to the participants. Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Uh, 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 students, uh, faculty members, departmental representatives, heads of department, Dr. Sikander, and members of the advisory board, uh, and especially the PRC team, I welcome all of you. This is, as Dr. Sikander said, is a very proud moment for us. Uh, we have been working towards uh, launching this certification for almost a year. And uh, it has come to a point where we can take this, uh, this step, this, this dream to fruition. Uh, fruition. So uh, if you could please uh, move on to the next slide. I will start this presentation by giving you a brief background about Population Research Center. We hardly get the chance, or up till now, we have hardly had the chance to talk to students directly. So you would like to start with the introduction of our, uh, our institution. The establishment of PRC, uh, is in fact a testament to the excellence that FCC has to offer uh, because FC, the, the PRC was created as in collaboration with Population Council and UNFPA and it was actually a UNFPA project that was given to Population Council and they were looking for two institutes across Pakistan where two institutes of uh, research institutes of population research could be established. And uh, after looking through many institutions, they chose two institutions. One was FC and one was Qaid Azam University. So the, even the uh, we had to compete uh, to get uh, uh, to get this grant. 
uh, which again is a testament to the excellence that FCC has to offer yeah, internally uh, uh, within FC. Uh, Population Research Center is part of the Faculty of Social Sciences. Uh, it, it represents an excellent example of interdepartmental collaboration because PRC is an independent body that was created collaboratively between with, with, uh, with the departments of economics, sociology, geography, and statistics. So we are also very proud of that fact. Uh, the PRC is supervised by an advisory board, which is headed by Dr. Sikandar Hayat, Dean of Social Sciences, and members include the heads of the participating departments, the four departments, and uh, also Dr. Sufyan Islam and Dr. Gloria Caleb from the Vice Rector's Office. Next slide, please, Khidra. Uh, next slide, please, Khidra. Sir, is it visible now? Yes, it is. Uh, when we set up uh, the, the PRC, uh, we came up with a mission statement and, and we've tried to live up to that mission statement uh, uh, as, as closely as possible. Our, our mission was to train students in the field of demography and population studies. We wanted to generate and organize and disseminate research on population growth in Pakistan and its application for Pakistan and the future of Pakistan. Uh, uh, another thing on our agenda was to evaluate existing policies and initiatives to counter the population problem in Pakistan, evaluate them and see how they can be made better. So, uh, and we are also working towards that and establishing a, a sort of a, a think tank group. Uh, collaboration with national and international institution uh, in terms of uh, training and, and, and research. Capacity building is another thing. Uh, their their uh, demography is a relatively new uh, discipline in, in Pakistan. So international collaboration are very important in building, uh, building our own capacity. Uh, next slide, please, Khizra. Keeping these... Uh, this mission in in focus and and uh, just to give you a side note we actually had 13 deliverables in 2020 uh, that we have to uh, which was the first year of, of our operation that we had to fulfill uh, which was which was sort of decided between us and the population council uh, alhamdulillah we have been successful in achieving all 13 uh, deliverables. I'll give you a brief synopsis of what PRC has done in the previous year. PRC has organized three webinars uh, uh, in the past year in which uh, experts from leading research institutions uh, in Pakistan presented their work. Uh, in November 2020, uh, PRC organized a panel discussion on demography and, 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 and its uh, relationship to uh, the COVID-19 uh, crisis. And uh, uh, this was an international panel, panel discussion. It was, a, it, was an, it was an excellent event uh, uh, to attend. Uh, we had experts from Pakistan, Hong Kong, China, America, um, and, and, uh, and Netherlands uh, who participated in this. And they, they shared excellent state-of-the-art research with us. PRC has up till now published two research articles in internationally, internationally recognized impact factor journals. Uh, this year in 2021, we have already submitted two publications. Uh, PRC, uh, in collaboration with the IT department, has launched a uh, research repository for demographic research. This research repository includes uh, uh, research related to demography and population studies that was produced by scholars either at FC or in, uh, in other universities. We also have uh, reports uh, that were freely available on uh, 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 that were produced by international organizations like ILO, UNICEF, UNESCO. So we've got them all thematically arranged in that research repository and, and, and the entire uh, FCCU faculty and student body has access to it for free. Uh, PRC has uh, recently submitted a research proposal that focuses on cognitive development of child workers in Pakistan. The uh, proposal presently is with the ILO for review. Um, for further information of what we have done in the past uh, year or so, uh, we have a biannual newsletter which is available on the PRC website uh, and the address is, is uh, given below and the uh, slides will of course be shared with all the participants. Next slide please. Uh, a little bit about our future plans, what we aim to do in 2021. Uh, in December 2021, PRC is uh, hoping to organize 
an online international conference in December. Uh, the uh, topic of the conference will be opportunities and threat population growth and way ahead. Uh, PRC, of course, will continue to follow its research agenda and uh, submit more research articles and submit more research proposals. Um, lastly, uh, and, and which, which is probably the most relevant point right now, in 2021 fall, uh, PRC will be launching its certification in demography and population studies for undergraduate students. Uh, in the next year, uh, we are planning to develop this certification into a full minor program, again, in collaboration with the participating departments. And um, uh, hopefully, if we get a good response, we also want to take this certification to other students at university, students who could, uh, uh, in the summer, perhaps uh, enroll in our certification program uh, from, from other universities. Um, a brief description of the certification program. Uh, uh, PRC uh, is launching the certification program, and again, it's a, it's it's a, it's an excellent example of interdepartmental collaboration. The PRC is launching this program in, in collaboration with economics, geography, sociology, and statistics departments. Uh, students basically uh, will register in this uh, uh, in this program, and after registering, will be required to take four courses. The all four courses are 100 to 200 level courses, and each course is from one of the participating sub departments. So students will be taking one course in economics, one course in sociology, one in geography, and one in statistics. All four courses are related to certain aspect of, of, of democracy and population studies, and we will share these de details later with you in the presentation. Uh, students uh, should be able to complete this certification in one academic year, which means that we'll be offering two courses in fall and two courses uh, in spring. So anybody who starts the, the certification fall should be able to finish in the following spring semester. Um, we, we have offered this certification program to basically uh, motivate students to do two things. First of all, they can use this certification as a base and then choose for a minor in demography. And again, it's a, it's a highly in demand uh, profession. Uh, also, those who do not want to choose for a demography uh, 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 minor, they have the option of uh, choosing electives within their major and minor area that, that fall within the domain of, uh, of population studies. So uh, I can tell you that in sociology, there are several courses that, that relate to population studies. So if somebody has a certification um, in, um, uh, in, in population studies and demography, they can definitely opt for uh, a research project that is related to demography and then opt for, uh, for, for uh, electives uh, that relate to demography and population studies within their area of expertise. The next slide, please. The main objective of the certification program is to train undergraduate students in theory uh, uh, methods and analysis and demography and population studies. Uh, this will enable students to examine population related issues within the four dimensions. So the whole idea, and again, that's probably the, the, the best uh, uh, aspect of this uh, certification is that you will get to understand uh, population related issues and demography from four different perspectives, at least from the economics, uh, geography, sociological and statistical perspectives. So it, it really uh, gives you a very uh, sort of uh, uh, panoramic view of of, of the problem. Uh, lastly, it will enable students to critically analyze existing policies and initiatives. Uh, again, that's that's a very important thing. And uh, those people who engage, enter into our certification, we have a plan to follow up uh, with those students and perhaps advise them on what type of thesis topics they need to take and what type of research they need to take, which will definitely involve analysis of policies that are already uh, in place for population management and control. Next slide, please. Uh, what will be the outcomes for students? Number, number one, uh, students will be equipped with basic theoretical and practical knowledge about demography and, and population studies, which will open up a new area of expertise for them. This will open up research opportunities for their undergraduate research project or their MPhil degree. So they can actually uh, uh, hopefully opt for a minor, uh, turn this into a specialization and then specialize in demography, get an MPhil degree in demography from, from, from Pakistan or abroad. 
again it's it's a highly coveted area um, and this this was one of the first uh, things that uh, the, the people from UNFP and Population Council uh, shared with us that there are not enough trained demographers in Pakistan and these situations, these positions that are for demographers are being filled out by uh, by, by people with, with, with degrees in other fields. Uh, so, that, so there is a dearth of uh, the sort of uh, scarcity of demographer, trained demographers in Pakistan. Uh, the uh, another plus point of this uh, certification is that this certification does not in any way interfere with your undergraduate degree so the four courses that students will take in earning this certification they will be able to claim those courses on their transcript as in for the completion of their major minor or general elective courses so you will be fulfilling your uh, your your credit requirements for your major minor or general elective courses by taking these four courses and the certification will be awarded in addition to that so there is no extra charge for now uh, or extra fee and just by taking these four courses uh, you, you not only get the credit uh, uh, hours for uh, the credit hours for it but you also get a certification on, on on top of that next slide please um this is perhaps uh, an important thing but uh, uh, but, but really anybody who's, who's, who's at a university in Pakistan knows that Pakistan has a population growth issue. We have a 2% growth rate. We, our dependency ratio is very high. Our underage 14 population is very high. We are experiencing a youth ball. So yes, there are, Pakistan is facing many, many uh, challenges in terms of uh, uh, population growth, some even at the existentialist level. Uh, so um, since population is, is, is related to everything with, the, with this uh, high rate of growth, uh, we are facing challenges with related to water and food safety, uh, health, employment, uh, education, human rights, uh, including gender rights and minority rights, environment, uh, poverty related issues and uh, relative deprivation related issues. There are also issues related to migration, urbanization, population redistribution. Uh, we have a, uh, a mismanaged aging population, mortality related issues. Uh, and there is the issue of creating opportunities in the labor market and economy. And of course, everything affects the family dynamics. So all of these issues, as you can see, these are, these are multidisciplinary issues which involve many disciplines. So it really does not matter what your major area is, uh, you will be somehow related to, uh, uh, it, it will have some uh, aspect of democracy and population studies uh, uh, within that, that major area. So uh, needless to say that there is a rising demand for demographers in the government sector, in the non-government sector, and in the private sector. Um, as one of the leading liberal arts institutions in Pakistan, FCCU is providing its students with a rare opportunity to examine demography and population related issues from, uh, from a multidisciplinary perspective, um, uh, especially specifically uh, from the perspective of economics, geography, sociology and statistics, and to be able to critically and uh, analyze policies and really have an in-depth understanding of what exactly is being going on in terms of population control and population management in Pakistan. I will now invite uh, Professor Javad to, uh, to uh, tell you a little bit about the courses that will be included in this, um, uh, in this certification and followed by Madam Zain Fatma, uh, who will tell you uh, a brief view about the registration process. Thank you very much. Over to you, Javad. Sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, before continuing further, I would like to Welcome all worthy Rector, Dr. Jonathan Adelton. So thank you for joining us. Right, so there will be four courses in this certification program. One course from each participating department. From Department of Sociology, Introduction to Demography will be offered in fall semester with a course code of SOCL 110. The second course will be quantitative methods in social sciences from statistics department, and it will be offered in this fall. The course code is STAT 103. From economics department, population economics will be offered in spring 2022, 
with the course code of code of econ 210 from geography department human domains of geography will be offered in spring 2022 and the course code is gbog 220 each course is of 3 credit hours and the total credit hours that will be required to complete the certification will be 12 next slide please right i'll be sharing brief objectives of these courses and how these courses will help students to gain important demographic knowledge the first course introduction to demography will help students to identify and apply major theoretical perspectives in demography and population studies and will help them to assess the conceptual differences among them additionally students will be provided information of demographic concepts and variables the course will help students to explain the centrality of population dynamics to socio economic and political issues around the globe it will help students to understand the demographic changes in our society and around the globe and its relation to global processes such as migration and urbanization next slide please the second course will be quantitative methods in social sciences stat stat 103 this is a very important course if you want to improve your research skills and it's a the course will help students to identify the types of data and use appropriate methods to collect and summarize data and this data both of these sir jawad aap uh, we can't hear you here is our interconnect demography whereas stat 103 will help you to look for relation Sorry, I think there is some. Uh, perhaps there are some connectivity problem. issues at your end, Mr. Jawad sir. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, I uh, now I think Mr. Sir Jawad has some internet issue, so um, I will request Miss uh, Zain Fatima to please continue from this slide. Thank you. Uh. uh we can hear I'm you i'm sorry also. my internet just died uh, good afternoon everybody um what's up are you going to continue all right uh, uh yes i'm going to continue thank you the third course will be population economics econ econ 210 the course will help students to calculate an demographic data sources to analyze past current and future trends of population data understand the debate of population growth and economic development use of interactive graph charts and tables unless an optimist views of population and economic development so this course will involve slightly advanced statistics that will help you to predict analyze trends using a multitude of demographic sources the next course and the last course will be the human domains of geography the course will help students to comprehend human geography and understand how it approaches the world it will help students to understand the relationships of culture society and economy it will help students to recognize and interpret at different scales the relationship among patterns and processes 
so the two courses are theory based courses that will involve extensive theory and two of the courses stat 103 and econ 210 will be more applied courses that will help you to see relationship between demographic economic social geographical variables i would now like to re uh, request ms fatma shamsi to inform you about the registration process thank you everyone good afternoon everybody uh, okay. uh, my name is zain fatma i am administrative assistant from prc i will going to explain the registration process uh, how you can register yourself for the course this course registration for fall 2021 will start from 7th june 2021 and end on 7th july 2021 a total of 10 seats will be reserved for certification program in each course for fall 2021 sol 110 and stat 103 these 10 seats will not appear in the course catalog for fall 2021 registration for the first 20 days of registration following this vacant seats if any will be visible to all students from 27th june uh, next the reserved seats will have a separate code cert with within each section student registering uh, registering for the certification during the registration period or afterward at any time during the semester will be allocated the cert uh, code next uh, the students who are interested in the certification program can send an email of interest to prc through their uh, departmental representatives or they can mail send their mails directly to the prc but before the 26th june they can send their uh, emails uh, to different departmental representatives from economics they can send it to mr hafiz rizwan ahmed his email id is mentioned over there and from geography he they can uh, send it to dr khatija shakurulla her uh, email id is also over there mentioned and from sociology to mr athar azim and from stats to ms uh, samia you and if you want to directly contact to prc you can send the email uh, to ms fatima that is me to uh, my email id is also mentioned over there but if you miss any email id our uh, web link is uh, provided at the last slide you can visit there and you can copy that email from there and kindly do mention your student id name and your program and major subject in the in that email id okay the last is the details of the first 10 received by 10 students received by the prc will be shared with the academic service officers and they will register in sol 110 uh, 110 and stat 103 against the 10 reserved seats for 2021 again i am mentioning that okay, the fall 2021 registration will start from 7th june next lastly that okay, other than the 10 reserved seats out of 35 students who have enrolled in Sol one one zero and Stat one zero three for fall can also register in certification program throughout the fall semester. Next, the students can contact the PRC office directly or through their instructors or departmental representatives, and the PRC will submit their names to the academic service office for registration in the certification program. Lastly, if you want to contact to PRC, you can send us the e direct email at prc at fccollege dot edu dot pk. And if you want to visit our office, you can visit uh, addresses provided over there at Dr. Hamid uh, Said Faculty Block. Our room number is one zero four and one zero five. If you want to take the det uh, full detail of our uh, certification program, you can visit the web page. Link is provided over there. And if you want to visit our PRC repository. the link is over there you can visit that to, to see the prc uh, journals and articles related to demographic and population studies next if you have any issue you can contact me directly or you can contact the departmental representative at any time the link is provided at fc college uh, website as well and uh, prc web page as well so next to ms kizra you can next thank you, thank you ms fatma Uh, now i would like to request our departmental representatives one by one to please discuss uh, the relevance of demography with your uh, courses like economics first of all i would like to request dr hafiz rizwan ahmed from economics department to please discuss the relevance of demography and e economics um, thank you very much kizra can i share my screen dr hafiz rizwan Can you hear me? Can I share my screen? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, yes, sir.
can you see my screen now? Yes, yes we can, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so I will try to explain why knowledge of demography is important for students of economics major with the help of two points. Basically, if we have knowledge of economics and demography, it may help us to understand economic theories, concepts, and laws in better way and to formulate economic and social policies keeping in view the requirements of our current population. It will also enhance opportunities and chances of success in job market and in the field of higher education for the students of economics. Similarly, uh, there are a lot of questions which economists actually search for. The questions related to scarcity, resource generation, employment creation, poverty, etc. require knowledge of both economics and demography. Look at following questions which are very crucial for our economic and social life. For example, will there be a time when resources of the world would exhaust it due to ever increasing population? Are humans in general builders or destroyers of resources? Why there is higher unemployment among educated young people in Pakistan compared to people who are uneducated or have low level of education? How family size affects lifestyle of people? So all these questions or the similar questions can be answered with the help of knowledge of demography and economics. Similarly, we also need to know that different age groups behave differently. Their current and future requirements are different. For example, from policy point of view, young people require investment in health and education, while aging people require pension and health facilities. So in short, we can say being students of economics, government policies about health, education, infrastructure, urban development, etc., and everything depends upon the data of population, its age structure, and potential users of development projects. Just look at the example of Pakistan and Japan. Uh, right now, median age of Pakistan is about 23 years, while median age of Japan is 48 years. What does this mean? It means that about half of the population of Pakistan is less than 23 years of age. That is why Pakistan is considered as one of the youngest countries in the world, while Japan's median age is 48 years. It means that half of the population of Japan is above 48 years of age. It means either most of them have retired or they will retire very soon. So what kind of policies will require will depend upon the age structure of population of Japan and Pakistan. Similarly, knowledge of population is also very important for business and marketing strategies. For instance, if we want to start a business, we need to know that which generation we want to target. For example, baby boomers have very different buying habits compared to those of X generation or millennials. Their choices, liking and disliking, buying habits, values are different. And without full understanding of these factors, economics and business policies may not be very successful. So if we talk about the opportunities in the job market, if we also get knowledge about demography and population statistics, we can work as a researcher, policy makers, data analysts, and social scientists in various government departments like health, education, statistics bureau, urban uh, planning units, planning and development regions of Pakistan, various research organizations and universities. Similarly, international organizations like World Bank, United Nations, United Nations Population Fund regularly offer job and internship opportunities for the students of economics and demography. Currently, there is also, uh, if we look at the website of these organizations, you can find different opportunities which are available right now. So if we talk about uh, the benefits in terms of uh, getting education uh, abroad, number of international universities like London School of Economics, Harvard Center for Population and Development Studies, and various other renowned institutes in the world offer different research scholarships, short courses, and degree programs for the students of economics. So I think for economic students, it will be a better complement subject that we should also study demography. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Rizwan. Uh, now I would like to invite Dr. Fatija Shakrola from Geography Department to please discuss the relevance of demography with geography. Uh, 
Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Hope you are listening me as well. Thank you so much, Khizra. Well, it's a very fundamental question, um, right? How geography relates with PRC, Population Research Center. Uh, let me explain first the very basic concept about geography to clarify the relationship of geography with demography or geography with PRC. Basically, geography is the study of variation and differences on surface of the earth, both in terms of physical and human aspects. It means how things vary from one place to the other place. This is the study of geography. So um, we have very wrong concept about geography and misconception like it's this geography is the study of memorization of the name, places, countries, flags, etc. No, this is not. It's the study of variation and differences on surface of the earth in terms of physical features which we are having on surface of the earth and the human aspects. So simply human being, the human being is the main center of attraction uh, for the planet earth. Uh, what is demography? Demography is basically the combination of two words as everyone is familiar. Demos mean people and graphy mean description. So it means demography is the description about the people. So demography is a branch of geography. It's a branch of human geography in which we discuss a lot of factors, a lot of variations from one place to the other place in terms of the population dynamics, how it differs from one place to the other place. And you know, population dynamics basically revolves around three parameters or three, uh, uh, three things are basically defines the population dynamics, migration, movement from one place to the other place, mortality, the death rates, and fertility, the birth rate. So when the change is observed, any one of the fundamental uh, parameters or concepts of the fertility, mortality, and migration definitely will affect the population dynamics. So. In, uh, we are offering right now, if we are talking about the relevance of the PRC or demography with respect to the geography, so it's very, very important for the geographers as we are already offering two main courses, which is related to the PRC or Population Research Center. First course is Population Geography. The code is Geography 323. And this course is basically uh, basically given uh, gives an understanding about the population dynamics, the population attributes, and the variation in distribution, in um, redistribution of population, how people are spaced on the surface of the earth, uh, why there is a variation and difference in the population dynamics from one place to the other place. So this is the this is basically this is the main domain of human geography, and we are studying under the uh, head of geography as well. And already we are offering this one for this um, specifically for this certification. We are offering one course that, that is known as human domains of geography, which is entirely giving us idea about the economic. Um, economic pattern, pattern, settlements, population distribution, political factors, natural factors, and a lot of other things which are affecting on population distribution and population dynamics and population characteristics. So we are talking about the absolute, we are talking about absolute numbers and population attributes both in this course. So this course is this demography course as well as this PRC is very, very relevant for the geographers. And, they, and after completion of this PRC certification, they are having one additional certificate on the behalf of that the students can get jobs uh, as dr muhammad rizwan mentioned they can get the job in the international market and the national market as well they can get the job uh, in all those fields which already mentioned in the previous presentation and so this course is very very relevant and interesting course PRC certification is very good for the students if they're going to opt. And in addition to these four courses, which are mentioned in PRC, they can take additional courses from geography, like geography three to two, three to three, ge economic geography, geography three double two. These are also very relevant courses for the students as well. And if you have any question, if the students have any question, you people can ask, uh, to, um, ask and you can clear your concepts if you are having about geography or if you want to ask about the relevance of geography with PRC. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Khatija. Uh, now we, I would like to invite uh, Mr. Athar Azim uh, from the Department of Sociology to please discuss the relevance of demography and sociology under the certification program. Uh, 
Sir Atar, can you hear me? I think you can move on to statistics for now. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Assalamualaikum, sir. Uh, Assalamualaikum, sir. All of you. Uh, as far as the sociology and uh, demography is concerned, the relationship between the two sciences, it is very vital. And you know that sociology is going to study human behavior. Abaz uh, Sayari, is you please yes, sir. tell me? Yes, sir. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, sociology is going to study human behavior from all aspects, and you know that sociology is supposed to be a mother of social sciences, and demography is also is supposed to be a social science, and both uh, sciences are together to understand human population, and with the specific and uh, a very special aspect of human population is the reasons of uh, population growth and population dynamics and population management. And as far as the reasons, causes, and uh, sociological uh, aspect or surgical reasons behind of the growth of population or population management or population control uh, is all these areas are supposed to be uh, dealt by the surgical uh, knowledge. And you know that population demography is also is a going to study a scientific analysis of population in any part, uh, particular society. Uh, so sociology is going to enhance uh, this knowledge of population management, population development, population growth, quality of life, and different aspect of demography like fertility, mortality, migration, and regarding uh, fertile the uh, values, norms, belief, practices, and attitude behind fertility, mortality, and migration is very important aspect of sociology to understand the dynamics of social uh, uh, growth of population. And as far as you know that uh, uh, sociology is going to study the belief system, the custom and tradition of the human society. And you know that population management, population growth or population control or uh, quality of population or population dynamics or population settlement, all based on uh, uh, basic practices and belief system. And sociology is giving you the area, uh, giving you the basic uh, philosophy and epistemology to understand uh, value system of population growth, value system of population um, fertility, mortality, and other, other aspect. And you know that uh, demography and population growth is a phenomena, as a social phenomena. Sociology is dealing with it as a social phenomena to understand uh, different causes and methods and research about the, this to study this phenomena. And uh, same way, the population is a problem in many, uh, uh, especially the third world countries and Pakistan is facing this great problem. Rather, mother of the problem is the population growth in Pakistan. So sociologists also taking it as a uh, social problem in Pakistan. And you know that, uh, as you know that, that Pakistan, the government level and otherwise public level people are not aware about this maniac the Pakistan is facing the tremendous and high uh, uh, magnitude problem of uh, population growth. You know that by the end of the uh, 2030 or by the end of the two, two, uh, 2050, we will be the third largest country in, uh, in the world after China and India. And you know that the scarcity of the resources and the other uh, emerging problem, uh, you can imagine the future of Pakistan in that way. So, so sociology is the right science to making a philosophical and reasonable understanding about all the dynamics of population, as far as the what are the basic causes and what are the basic fact factors behind the, this growth of, uh, of this uh, this problem uh, growth of this problem. So, so I will I would like to say that uh, sociology is giving you the ample uh, chances and ample cushion or ample. Uh, uh, methodological and research oriented uh, knowledge to understand demography and related issues. Uh, as far as uh, the courses are concerned, uh, uh, I think uh, sociology is giving you the ample uh, cushion to understand theoretical basis, research basis, and philosophical basis uh, on basis of sociological knowledge to understand demographic uh, uh, analysis. And sociology is providing all these things in the Department of Sociology. And as far as you know that uh, uh, career in sociology or career in demography, uh, as you know that I am, uh, uh, I am sorry to this, say this, this thing, still Pakistan and government of Pakistan, the people of Pakistan not taking this problem as a serious problem. And a lot of work have to do if you want to be a good nation in, in the world, if you want to rise as a uh, developing nation in the world, you have to address this problem. And still we have no 
qualified professional demographer in Pakistan, not at the level of government level, not at the NGO level, not at the private level, and not at any level. It is a good opportunity. I will appreciate the Department of Sociology and especially Dr. Vakas and Dr. Sikandar. Yeah, they are providing a very important and basic chance to understand demography in Pakistan, to address the problems regarding population. And so if any student or any person is going to take these courses, he will be, I think, the primary and the initial profession, professional in Pakistan as far as demography is concerned. And you know that if you are going to take uh, this certification of population uh, uh, demography, you will get the entry international market as, as a researcher, as a social scientist researcher. You will get the many, many opportunity in international universities. And you know that uh, because population demography is going to cover all aspects of so uh, social sciences. You will get into the economic uh, economy of demography. You can get uh, the admission in the sociology of demography and so many things. All international universities are giving you the chances to take uh, research-oriented courses or research-oriented uh, career in, in uh, all the international universities. And as far as the career or job opportunities are concerned, you will get uh, the job if you are a good demographer, if you are a good sociologist, you can get a very good opportunity in international uh, standards uh, uh, organization like World Bank, World, like United Nations, different uh, sister university, uh, sister organization of United Nations, World Bank, Asian Development Bank, African Development Bank, and different ILO and different international or national uh, NGOs, you can uh, get the job over there. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Now I would like to invite Ms. Samia Ayu from the Department of Statistics to please discuss the relevance of demography and statistics. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Okay, uh, well, uh, uh, there is a very deep relationship between statistics and demographic. Uh, demographic statistics actually works out method of uh, collection, uh, collecting data on the population and of making current and long range estimates of population size and uh, compositions. Um, and it develops method of measuring, uh, comparing and intensity and analyzing factor of uh, different uh, demographic uh, processes such as birth, uh, birth rate, death rate, mortality and marriage. Uh, actually, um, uh, we need to identify uh, different population dy dynamics and nature, uh, population nature and population trends. Uh, and for uh, to to explore um, uh, to explore all all these uh, dynamics, we definitely need uh, a, a data analysis. And uh, through data analysis, actually, we um, we can explore um, the details of uh, all data set and then we can identify what, what are the real problems uh, of our population and, and how to cope with these problems. Um, uh, for the bulk data analysis, uh, we need to develop some models uh, related to population and um, uh, to identify the further population processes, we need, we need a special type of uh, modeling. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, related to uh, this certification course, uh, we developed the course of um, uh, data analysis uh, that is uh, related to software. Uh, the student um, they use this software for the uh, bulk data, uh, which is from uh, can be from the UNICEF or WHO, um, and uh, then uh, these uh, the, 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 the statistics provides the method to analyze the data and um, uh, uh, how to report the different results because um, in many situations, um, uh, the results are not reported um, as uh, a casual way. They, um, they misinterpret the results or, uh, and the uh, forecasting is, uh, can, can, cannot be done on uh, these results. So um, basically the problem is uh, uh, related to the data handling. So the, this course especially focuses on how to hand, handle the population related data uh, with, the, uh, with the use of softwares and uh, how to enter the data uh, correctly, how to put the data, how, um, how to make meaningful conclusions and uh, how to report the results of the data, um, uh, which is, uh, which can be used for the further forecasting. 
And uh, this is all about from my side. Thank you very much, Madam Samia, uh, for this insightful presentation. Uh, I would once again, before we move on to the Q&A session, I would like to once again uh, welcome Dr. Jonathan Adelton for, uh, for attending uh, our event. Uh, sir, if, would it be possible for you to just uh, say a few words to us and share your thoughts about uh, demography and the certification to, to us? Sure, thank you very much. Uh, I, I appreciate this. I, I, I will just say a few remarks, but uh, I, I did want to say that I attended this because I'm very interested in this field. I can't say I got a certificate myself in demography, but a lot of what I did was in this area. Uh, those that know me know I focused on um, development, I focused on migration. Um, I did even write a couple articles, a demographic note on this and a demographic note on that. So maybe that was sort of a wannabe or a pretend to be. Um, but I think just to echo what everybody said, this is such a vital issue, such a vital area. What I really love about this actually is the cross-disciplinary action about that. Um, the cross-disciplinary involvement um, from, I guess, four main departments. Um, this is something that even as an undergraduate, I appreciated when I had that opportunity. And I love the fact that Foreman is doing it. Um, I'll leave the rest of the time for questions. But again, um, I had this on my calendar. I got the announcement about it. And I thought, I want to listen in because this is a useful program for Foreman. Um, I also was going to say, looking at, I was going to thank a couple of the people separately afterwards. Um, I guess I can do it now as well. But just the way that it's put together, um, uh, the, the, uh, the opening slides, I thought, wow, this is a lot of thought has gone into this. So again, um, thank you all. I'll listen to to the end to see the questions as well. Uh, but it's been very informative for me. And I love the fact that Foreman is able to offer it to its uh, undergraduates as well. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, uh, we will move on to the question and answer session now. Uh, so please, if anybody has a question, please uh, raise your hand and the uh, administrator will, uh, will unmute you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, hello. Got a few hands. Yes, please. Uh, sir, some of us are in our sixth semester, so that means we have one year to complete our degree and this certification. Uh, does any of these courses have any prereqs? Because if they do, that will be, I think, uh, have a problem for us. That's a very good question. Uh, uh, all of these courses are at the 100 and 200 level, and none of these courses have a prerequisite. Uh, so whether you are a sophomore or a freshman or in your final year, uh, you, you should be able to enroll for these courses without any problems. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, I want to ask that uh, only 35 students can register for this uh, certification program or uh, there are uh, uh, other seats as well. Uh, for the first year, we will have uh, between 35 to 40 slots maximum uh, because we're only offering uh, one shared section with, with these uh, uh, with these courses. Uh, but if in the next year, if the demand is, is is high enough, we will probably introduce a separate section, and uh, that will have more slots for students who want to register for this certification. So if if I want to uh, register now, so uh, should I email to you guys for that to reserve my seat? Absolutely, you can either email us directly or email uh, through your departmental representative. So all you need to do is just shoot us one email and we'll have a slot uh, allocated to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, sir, there is a question in the comment section that what if someone has already taken the courses that the program requires, will they need to take them again? 
my first answer uh, it would be that yes because we are revising the course outlines for these courses uh, to add uh, uh, content related to population studies and demography uh, this is also something that that's a very good point and this is something that we need to take to our advisory board and uh, get a decision on it also so that would be my answer initially but i will follow up on it and ask this question to the advisory board and relay the answer to to the to the person who asked the question thank you i think uh, hello everyone i think dr vikas we shouldn't allow these students who have already taken these courses in fact we are starting this program from fall onwards so the priority is to be given to those students who are going to join us during fall and uh, for the rest of the semester so uh, hope you got i completely the agree with you sir i completely agree with you definitely uh, there is one more question from a student in economics Uh, sir, there is a question in the comment section that students from other majors like English literature can join this program as well or not? Absolutely, yes. Uh, students from any major or minor area can can join from the humanities, the sciences, or the social sciences. This certification is open to all students. Thank you. Uh, so next question is how will the program be beneficial for a psychology major that is uh, something that i cannot rightly answer uh, as uh, we we do not have any representative of the psychology department here but definitely uh, uh, there is a, a, a direct relationship between all social sciences and demography uh, related issues so in terms of uh, 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 in terms of uh, screening of individuals at an early age uh, coping with population management so yes definitely there would be a link but unfortunately i do not have the knowledge to give you precise answers uh, in terms of what uh, specialization areas can you develop within the field of demography uh, by by having a cognate with uh, with psych psychology but i would uh, ask you to please refer to uh, uh, your uh, your departmental head or your advisor or you can uh, email us separately and we can ask this question on your behalf to the psychology department thank you that was a very good question if i may add here yes sir please it's an additional qualification i mean it won't hurt you you know you will have another area of competency and uh, you know you never know somewhere in life it may come very handy to you so there is no harm in it at all if you are coming from that background because you know social psychology in particular deals with such questions uh, in in some ways so i don't think it will hurt anybody and i think what uh, Dr. Bakar said in the beginning. I mean, you could come from many disciplines, from many faculty. Hopefully, it will be good for you. Thank you, sir. I think there are two comments that have been posted for again related to students that have already taken one or two of the courses. I'm I'm afraid, as I said, and as Kashif Sahab also uh, pointed out, uh, we are offering this from fall 20 
uh, one. Uh, before we offer it, the course outlines will be revised. So new content will be added that is relevant to the certification. So it could possibly not. It would probably not be possible for us to uh, to grant uh, the certification to people that have taken these courses in previous semesters. Uh, there is another question. Can we start this certification from spring or is it compulsory to start in uh, fall 2021? We'll be offering these courses on a rolling basis. So we'll be offering the same two courses every fall and every spring. So you can start in the spring cycle or in the fall cycle. That is a, an option that is open to all students. Thank you. That was a good question. Uh, uh, there is a comment about the slides. These slides will be available. We will make them available on our website. And uh, those of you who have, uh, we have uh, the emails for. We will, uh, we will also email you these these slides. We'll try and generate an email list, and and email uh, share these slides with you through email also. There is another question. Uh, do students who have already or who will be enrolling for five regular courses in a semester, will they uh, will they require to take overload for these two courses if they are planning to take these two courses in addition to the five courses? Uh, uh, yes. That, uh, that is something that you will have to discuss with your academic advisor because it depends on your CGPA and what your academic advisor will, will but it is possible. Yes. But it should go through the concerned dean. I mean, you know, the whole thing has to be looked at because seven courses can be a lot of burden if the student is already not doing so well in his or her studies, her program of studies. But this can be looked at on face-to-face -face basis. Thank you, sir. A final uh, question, this is why is this limited to undergraduate students? Is there any chance that students who just got uh, who just got graduated from FCU to come to avail this opportunity? Uh, yes, there is uh, provided we uh, we get a good uh, response, which which we have at a very good start. Thank God uh, we, we are hoping to introduce this uh, certification in summer to anybody who is either an ex graduate or FCU or is from or is in another university. To uh, to uh, to take the certification uh, in in the summer, so we plan to do that in uh, 2022 summer. Uh, again, based on the response that we get from the students. Thank you. That was a very good question. Uh, I have another question that. Uh... I want to know the main focus of, of all the four courses that uh, they will be teaching us about how to control the population or how to utilize it. How, because these are two things uh, uh, regarding uh, the populations that uh, I have studied this thing. I have, I have studied uh, this in last semester as well that uh, uh, utilization of population is the real problem not uh, how to control it. I refer this question to Jawad sir, who's just explained the four courses. Thank you, sir. Uh, as far as these four courses are concerned, just uh, one or two of the courses, they will be talking about if population is a resource or if we have to control population or if we have to utilize it properly because there are different viewpoints. As it was mentioned in population economics course, the optimist and pessimist version of population growth and economic development. 
but the courses will be more about the different viewpoints the theories that are existing in demography they will be about how to look for different population trends how to analyze relationship between different demographic variables so it won't be uh, it won't just revolve around the debate that if population growth is good or if it is something bad obviously it will be one component of the theory based courses that we are offering in the certification but it this will not be the all of it this will not be the whole of it will be more interested in analyzing demographic patterns because right now there is a population growth and there are some viewpoints and they are more compelling as far as research is concerned that uh, population growth without proper policy can be detrimental it may become a problem instead of becoming a resource so that will be just one of the debates that will be going in these courses other than this debate there will be a lot of other content it there will be content related to theories how you are going to look for different demographic variables what is the role of those those demographic variables in economic development in social development and how you can look for those relationships what are the appropriate methods what are the appropriate statistical techniques that are required to explore those relationships I think that was the last question. Are there any other questions, please? We're also slightly over time. Uh, so I, I guess we, we should uh, uh, conclude this, this event. Uh, I, I would like to uh, thank with all my heart, uh, Dr. Edelton, Dr. Gloria, Dr. Sufyan, uh, the heads of the departments of sociology, economics, uh, statistics, and geography, uh, Dr. Sikandar, uh, and all the students and faculty members who, who, who made this uh, event special for us by, by attending it. Uh, we will be open to questions always. Uh, so we, we are, our email addresses are, have been shared in the pamphlet uh, uh, and they are also available on the website. So please feel free to contact us if you have any question, any queries. If you want to register, uh, please, uh, again, you can send us an email directly or through your departmental representatives. Uh, once again, I thank everyone. Uh, and have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Laughs. Thank you. Thank Thank you, all. Thank you so much for the office. Thank you, sir, for the office. Thank you, Vidal. Thank you. Allah